Here's more about the environment, animal health and safety, employees and neighbors, food safety, and a vibrant industry for the future than Iowa's responsible pork producers. Ankeny Christian will be the home team on the scoreboard, and Calamus Wheatland will be the visitors. Let's get you the starters for the Warriors of Casey Corn, And it will be Alex Matson, a 5'9 senior with a six point per game average. Drew Jacoby is a 6'2 senior averaging 10 a game. Ryan Powers, 6'2 and a senior, a 22 point per game average. Brian Cruz is a 6'5 junior who averages 9 a game. And Logan Getch, 5'11 and a sophomore with a 4 point per game average. Matson, Jacoby Powers, Cruz, and Getch, the starting five for Calamus Wheatland. For Ankeny Christian, It'll be Isaac Lopez, a 5'9 junior with a five point per game average. Tim Olnazak. Olnazak, a 5'11 junior, averages 22 a game, leads the team in scoring with four or with three other guys that average in double figures. Jason Cameron, a 6'4 senior with a 12 point per game average. Jay Snyder, a 6'5 senior, averaging 13 a game. And Andy Harmson, a 6 foot senior with an 11 point per game average. Lopez, Olnazak, Cameron, Snyder, and Harmson, the starting five for Ankeny Christian. So those are your starters and the officials that will work this one. Marlo Van Ginkle, Terry Milligan, uh, excuse me, Terry McMillan, and Tom Hartigan. Well, uh, be in charge of the action. We will take a break and be back with the opening tip-off after these messages on the High V Championship. Radio Network. Mid-American Energy wants you to think safety and act safely. When working around the home or farm, look out by looking up. Touching any overhead power line can result in serious shock. Never assume that a power line isn't live. And teach children about high voltage warnings posted on any electrical equipment, especially green transformer boxes. For more information on electrical safety, go to midamericanenergy.com. Paid for by the customers of Mid-American Energy. Pepperoni. <clears throat> Pepperoni. <clears throat> Pepperoni. Oh. I'm working on my Italian accent, folks. In the meantime, head to Pizza Ranch for big savings on Pepperoni Pizza. Smalls, five bucks, medium, six ninety-nine, and large, just eight ninety-nine. Pepperoni Pizza. Now we're at your local Pizza Ranch. Ciao, bambino. Whoa, that's good. I rely on my CPA to decipher the tax regulations. Every day, CPAs help Iowans reach their business and personal financial goals. My CPA helped me figure out how to start my own business and make a go of it. My future, my CPA. My CPA helps me make sense of the stuff I need to know to reach my financial goals. Visit findanioacpa.com or becomeanioacpa.com. A message from the members of the Iowa Society of Certified Public Accountants. You may find yourself looking for affordable health coverage for yourself, for your family, or even for your business. If so, you should look into a plan from Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield of Iowa, an independent licensee of the Blue Cross and Blue Shield Association. Our Simply Blue plans give individuals and families choices that meet their needs and their situation. If you're a small business owner, we offer more than 60 options, so if you need a more affordable plan, visit www.wellmark.com today. Affordable, reliable health coverage. The difference is blue. We've all experienced a great deal of change recently. Your Iowa bankers want you to know one thing. Our commitment to you and to our state never changes. While other lenders may come and go with deals that don't always add up, Iowa banks are focused on providing sensible products to meet your needs. We've been serving Iowans for over a century. Just like you, Iowa is our home. For advice and services you can trust, stop by your Iowa bank. Iowa banks, your future, our focus. Calamus Wheatland wins the opening tip. They've got the ball in front court as we just get underway here in this 1A first round matchup to find out who will play Linville Sully in a semifinal game on Thursday afternoon. Low post pass finds Cruz. Cruz trying to work his way to the basket. Shut off by the Eagles and Jay Snyder. So back out on the perimeter it comes for Ryan Powers. Double teamed. 
Now gives it up. Matson pulls up right wing, 13-footer, no good. Wound up being a pass, an air ball pass, if you will, to Logan Getch, who gets the easy two from the left side of the glass. So the Eagles with the basketball, Tim Oldenzak. Right side to Cameron. Cameron, low post pass, finds Jay Snyder. Snyder goes baseline, puts a shot up no good, but a foul is called, and the 6'5 senior will shoot two. And a chance to tie this game. Ryan Powers with the personal. It's his first. Jay Snyder's free throw is up and comes up short. No good. Ankeny Christian, 24 and 1 this season. Seven minutes, seven seconds in this first quarter. Missed the second free throw as well, and the rebound finally collected by Alex Matson. Ankeny Christian putting some pressure on in backcourt, but the press is broken with the pass over the top. Deep left corner. And to the low post it goes. Back outside for Getch. And he'll back up. Logan gives it on the right wing to Powers. Now scooting his way, Jacoby to the free throw line. That jumper from 15, no good. Rebound, Eagles steal it away. And down the right side and in a hurry. Shot won't go for uh, Tim Oldenzak, but he was fouled and goes to the free throw line to shoot two. Brian Cruz with his first personal. Free throw is up and rolls in good. The first one anyway for Olmzak. It's his first point of the ball game. Ankeny Christian getting on the board with that free throw. Second one also good. Ties the game at two. Six and a half minutes remaining. Here in the opening quarter of play. Pass into front court. Calamus Wheedlin with it. And a little up fake and a travel on that up fake along the baseline by Ryan Powers. He got oh, he got uh, Jay Snyder off his feet, but he traveled with it in doing so. So Eagles get the basketball. With it, Cameron goes back on the pass to the baseline for Tim Oldenzak, who got an easy two, and Ankeny Christian with the basketball, or whether with the lead for the first time. Throw on the far side, tipped out of bounds by the Eagles, still belongs to the Warriors. Let's go! The only loss this year was to Iowa Christian Academy, 64-59. Ankeny Christian's only loss. And baseline passes right back into the lap of uh, Ryan Powers. He then went up with a shot and was fouled. Jay Snyder with this personal. It's his first. Ryan Powers, first of two, chance to tie. Spins that one in. A free throw here will tie the game at four apiece in the early going. 5.49 remaining here in the opening quarter of play. A second free throw, good as well. Four-four tie, 5.40 to go, opening quarter. Low post pass, and spin to the baseline. Shot won't go down for Jay Snyder. Quick outlet pass in the hurry. The run, the shot by Jacoby. No good, but a foul on the Eagles. And Drew Jacoby's going to the line to shoot two. Jason Cameron gets his first personal. And the free throw hops in and out, no good for Drew Jacoby. Into the game, uh, and the second free throw goes in for Drew Jacoby. Uh, Mitch Christensen 
has checked into the lineup. On the far sideline, Eagles work with it in front court. Ankeny Christian trailing Calamus Wheedland. Five to four in the first three minutes of the game. Snyder outside top of the key. Three-pointer good. Jason Cameron. Makes it a 7-5 lead for Ankeny Christian. Bounce pass through the legs of the intended target, Drew Jacoby, for Calamus Wheedland. It goes out of bounds. Ryan Powers coming back into the Warrior lineup. Replaced uh, Drew Jacoby. Eagles with the basketball. Olnizak spinning. Dishes on the right side. Cameron, low post pass. And the shot is off glass and good for Jay Snyder as he snaked his way along the baseline. Nine to five, Ankeny Christian leads. We'll go the other direction, the layup is good for Ryan Powers. Powers with four. His first field goal gets his team back to within nine seven. Baseline, back up top, up fake, no shot. Olnizak has it again. Dishes back on the right side for Cameron. Cameron looking low for Snyder. Gets him the ball. Snyder faces the basket. And there's a travel. He picked up the pivot foot on an up fake. More substitutes. As they continue to shuffle in and out of the ball game for Ankeny Christian. Checking in is Andy Harmson once again. Ball in backcourt. Logan Getch. Across the timeline they go. The deep right corner. Nothing available there for Mitch Christensen, so back out on the perimeter it comes. Now the pass inside and along the baseline. Shot is up off glass and good for Ryan Powers. And he gets the game tied at nine. Three and a half minutes to go here in the opening quarter of play. Three-point shot on the outside, an air ball tipped into the corner, another three. That one's a little short as well. Eagles still with the rebound. Schneider has to get it back outside. Where it's handled by Isaac Lopez. Look to the left side, the ball deflected out of bounds. The hustle play on the far side for Calamus Wheedland. Logan Getch. Throw in for the Eagles. In the corner, Martin, or excuse me, Lopez. Now it's Olnizak, the little baseline runner. Had it blocked, was able to save it from going out of bounds. But it's Calamus Wheedland that he saved it to. And here come the Warriors, spinning in the lane. Scoop shot, no good. Rebound, foul. It's against the Eagles. I think it's against Isaac Lopez. It is his first. Warrior substitute, several players. Jacob Bomia. Let's see, Drew Jacoby is on the floor, so is Brian Cruz. Alex Matson throws the ball inbounds and actually threw it away. Out of bounds it goes and belongs to the Eagles. Olnizak across the timeline. Pass into the right corner. Gets the return. Flips to the point to Cameron. Looks back to Olnizak. But now he has to come out and get the basketball. 9-9 tie with two and a half minutes to play in this first quarter. Right side pass to Harmson. Armson, the free throw line, and a whistle stops play on a drive down the lane by Jason Cameron. He was fouled prior to any shot attempt. The foul against Ryan Powers, his second. Eagles throw the ball inbounds. Left baseline, and there's a travel. Seems, seemed like it anyway. Way too much distance seemed to be covered by Jay Snyder without benefit of a dribble. 
So the Warriors take over in a 9-9 tie with 2.13 to play. And a ball tipped away by Isaac Lopez into the hands of Jason Cameron. Baseline drive, Lopez deals it out on the right wing. Jumper's good for Andy Harmson. 11-9, Ankeny Christian with the lead. Calamus Wheedland with the basketball. And here's Lopez again from behind. He snuck up. Stole the ball away and then stepped on the sideline. Boy, he had the steal clean, but we get a timeout on the floor for Calamus Wheedland with a minute 46 remaining in this first quarter of play. Your score, Ankeny Christian Academy 11, Calamus Wheedland 9. We'll be back after these messages from your local station. Calamus Wheedland shot and a jump ball on the rebound. The arrow favors Ankeny Christian, so the Eagles will get the ball to throw inbounds. No, oh, we had... I think we had a foul called. Drew Jacoby checks back in. There's a shot that's rejected out of bounds by Jay Snyder. Still Warrior basketball. Calamus Wheedland trailing. Pass left baseline, another shot block. Here come the Eagles on the run. Bounce pass ahead on the break and the layup is good. Jason Cameron running the floor pretty well. Now travel turns the roll right back over. Warriors Brian Cruz got caught up with a pass that was a little bit behind him and he took a step trying to gain control. Mitch Christensen has checked back in for Calamus Wheedland. 1-10 to play in the opening quarter of play. Ankeny Christian owns a four-point lead at 13-9. Pass on the left wing, Jason Cameron. Cameron dribbles back to the point, passes back left for Harmson. Harmson further left. Uh, Austin Alessio and Austin. Hands it off to Harmson. Harmson pulls up left wing. Jumper in and out. No good. And rebound off to the Warriors. And Brian Cruz. 30 seconds to go. Here in this first quarter of play. Calamus Wheedland trying to get back within two on this trip. Cruz with the basketball. Gave it up, top of the key pass, and a three-pointer that comes up short, no good, but the rebound to the Warriors. 14 seconds to go in the quarter. And with four seconds, right side, a rushed three-point shot is off the rim, no good. At the end of one quarter of play. Ankeny Christian, 13. Calamus Wheedland 9. And we will be back after these messages on the High V Championship Radio Network. Do you remind it? If you have what it takes on the inside, Russell has what it takes on the outside. Looking for something for the whole family to do? Have you visited the Iowa Hall of Pride lately? They have a theater, a game room, dozens of hands-on exhibits telling the stories of famous Iowans and why Iowa is such a great place to live. Did you know that all children in grades K through 12 are free? The Iowa Hall of Pride is across from Wells Fargo Arena in downtown Des Moines with plenty of free parking. The hall is presented by Iowa Farm Bureau. It's the spirit we feel inside. We feel inside. The Iowa Hall of Pride. Ankeny Christian with the basketball as the second quarter gets underway. Lob to the low post. Snyder backing up, put a shot up, and he was stuffed on. And then deals back into the lane, cutting down the right side. Shot is no good, but again, Eagles with another chance. Snyder 
Thought about a 16-footer from the right elbow. Sided against that shot. Moves it up, and it's Cameron. Back to Snyder, to Olnazak, to Harmson. The other guy on the floor is John Cruz right now. In at the low post, turnaround shot, again blocked away. Once again, the Eagles get it. Reverse layup wouldn't go, but a rebounding or shot foul. Is it going to be free throws or a foul on the rebound against Calamus Wheatland? Didn't catch who it was on, but as we get back underway, it is Eagles basketball. The toss inbound is handled by Ben Howe. Pass inside, deflected away from Snyder and stolen away by the Warriors. Logan Getch. Pass in the deep left corner, three-pointer up. That one's off the mark. Cameron with the rebound. Quick loud pass, Olnazak. But Calamus Wheatland is back defensively. All five guys, and now Ankeny Christian will have to play in the half-court offense. 6.15 to go here in the opening quarter of play. Pass to the baseline intended for Harmson. Tipped away and out of bounds. And it'll be Jason Cameron that throws it inbounds. Baseline right in front court. Ankeny Christian moving from left to right as we watch the action here in the opening half of play. Left side, Harmson, deep in the left corner, back out on the wing, Olnazak for three, comes up short, rebound underneath, Snyder put it back up, wouldn't go, and this time cleared away by uh, Brian Cruz. Here comes Calamus Wheedlin on the run, and a shot, no good, rebound, blocked, nope, traveling before any block. Turnover back to Ankeny Christian with Ankeny Christian leading 13 to nine. We played over two minutes of the second quarter. Neither team has scored. Jason Cameron gave it up to Tim Olnazak. Olnazak spinning right. Heels the top of key, three-pointer is up. It's an air ball, picked off underneath. Brought back by Ryan Powers. He wants to run, lays it up. Won't go, but he's fouled and will shoot two free throws. The Eagles foul on Jason Cameron, his second. And Ryan Powers to the free throw line, shooting two. He's already two for two in the game. Five and a half minutes remain in the first half of play. Free throw up, rattles in good. Ryan Powers gets another shot. Frankie Christian, Ben Howe is out there. We're trying to pick up Old Mazak is there. Second free throw is good. So Powers a perfect four of four from the free throw line. Cameron, Old Mazak. Uh, ben Howe along with Jay Snyder. And Andy Harmson. So there's your five on the floor for Ankeny Christian. Right side, it's Harmson with the basketball. Gets a pass out on the left wing. Olnazak. High post. Actually, all closer to the three-point line. Now the dish down low. Jay Snyder going inside. Banks one off the glass and in. Jay Snyder, the 6'5 senior, he's got four points. The lead is 15 to 11 for Ankeny Christian. Calamus Wheatland with the basketball. But no, a steal. Harmson with the pick and the layup at the other end. <laughs> Foul against. <laughs> the Eagles bringing the ball up floor. It's against Ben Howe, his first. Calamus Wheatland basketball. Warriors throw across the 10 second line, flip a pass ahead. For Drew Jacoby, now down the left side of the lane. The layup is good for Mitch Christensen. The 
17-13. Ankeny Christian the lead. Right side, Harmson. Back it goes Olnizak. Olnizak at the post. Now down the right side. And the layup is good for Jay Snyder. Cutting to the post. Cutting to the lane. All the way to the glass. Top of the key pass as the Warriors work with it in the offensive end. Christensen in the lane. Ball's tipped away. Stolen. Cameron comes up with it. Olnizak pushing the pace, but Calamus Wheatland is back defensively. Three-point shot swatted into the Calamus Wheatland bench. Still Eagles with the basketball. Cameron will trigger the inbounds play. Comes into Harmson, hands it back to Cameron. Cameron, a little pick and roll with Snyder, and the ball tipped away at the last instant. And that was going to be a, uh, an easy two, and we get a timeout here. Timeout with 3.25 remaining in the first half. Ankeny Christian, 19, and Calabas Wheatland, 13. We'll be back after this from your local station. Warriors have the ball back on an eagle turnover. They have it in front court. Pass on the perimeter. Around the three-point ring. Now penetrating inside Christensen. Now low post it goes for the shot that spins off no good. Rebound put back is blocked, but we get a foul. Cameron with the personal. That's his third. Nope. Wasn't on Cameron. Yeah, it was. Sorry. But that is his third personal foul. And at the free throw line, Logan Getch with two shots and the first one good. Cameron goes to the, the uh, bench and Austin Alicio comes on to the floor. Second free throw. That one is no good. The rebound to Jay Snyder. Ankeny Christian with the basketball. 2.45 to go in the half, leading 19 to 14. Left side pass. And back on the right wing to Harmson. Harmson penetrates to the baseline, fades away, shot no good. The ball saved by the Eagles at the baseline. They'll have another chance at it. Lob inside, Snyder triple teamed, loses the handle, gets the ball back. Olnizak, baseline, dishes up top. That's Snyder driving the left side and an offensive foul is called on Jay Snyder. Player control foul, no free throws here. Ankeny Christian with their 18 foul. Calamus Wheatland with the throw in, a bucket there within three, 2-11 remaining in this first half of play. Far sideline, still in backcourt, working with the basketball across the timeline on the dribble. Christensen back out to Getch. To Christensen on the left wing. Mitch, uh, top of the key pass. Brian Cruz, he puts up the three and it's no good. Eagles with the rebound. Jay Snyder to Olnizak. Olnizak to the right baseline. Circles, comes back onto the wing, pitches to the point, and then comes back to get the ball again. Olnizak backing up. 19 to 14 with a minute and a half remaining in this first half of play. Back outside. After Olnizak went baseline, he gave it up. Gets the return pass, and they'll start it up again. A minute 15 to play in the first half. Olnizak dishes it off. Look on the right side. Snyder thinking about ducking back in, but 
against the double team, decides to go back outside, reload the half-court offense. Snyder, Harmson to Snyder, up fake, shut off at the baseline, whips it out in the left corner, and then back to the top of the key to Harmson. 50 seconds to go. Snyder backing in. Baseline duck under, it was blocked, missed the left-handed layup, got it back again, put it up, wouldn't go, but he was fouled, and he's going to the free throw line. The foul against Brian Cruz, his second. And Jay Snyder, over two at the free throw line, has two to work with here. 40 seconds remaining in the first half of play. The free throw is short, no good. He's 0 for 3 at the stripe. Jay Snyder. <laughs> Snyder. Another free throw. And that one is good. So he's 1 for 4 at the free throw line. Snyder leaves the ball game. Just a 55% or excuse me, uh, free throws, a 65% free thrower. Top of the key, up big drive right side, and there's a blocking foul that's called on the Eagles. Micah Klon, a 6'4 junior. Uh, check it. That's, I'm sorry. Joey Reed. Joey Reed with the personal foul. And it's a one and one opportunity here for Calamus Wheatland and Logan Gitch. One for two at the stripe. This is a one and one chance. With 32 seconds remaining, his team down six, now down five as he gets the first free throw and a chance to get his team within four if he can get this one in. 32.9 seconds remaining in the first half. 20 to 15, Ankeny Christian with the lead. Free throw up and that one's short, no good. And Reed got the rebound. Olnizak in front court, deals it off for Harmson. Harmson. Whips a pass, then back to Olnazak. 20 to 15. Olnazak down the right side as he started up with it. He was stripped of the basketball, and Eagles will bring Jay Snyder back into the game. Out of the contest goes Austin Alessio. Eagle throw in. Baseline in front court. Harmson back on the right side. To Howe, to Harmson, puts up the runner in the lane that's good. With four seconds now, ball mishandled in backcourt and no chance for even a decent half-court shot before the horn sounds. At the end of the first half of play, Ankeny Christian 22 and Calamus Wheatland 15.
we get underway, and Ryan Powers scores the first two points of the second half. Calamus Wheatland trailing by five. Uh, now trailing by three as a follow shot is good for Brian Cruz. His first field goal of the game, 22-19. Ankeny Christian Academy with the lead and the basketball, and we'll pick up our second half coverage after these messages on the High V Championship Radio Network. When you're talking great Chinese food, you may be surprised to find a grocery store on the list. But High V Chinese Express was named one of the top 100 Chinese restaurants in the nation by Chinese Restaurant News. Picked from some of the most popular entrees, prepared fresh every day by High V's authentically trained Chinese chefs, or request a meal made to order. Healthy options, low sodium soy sauce, everything cooked with healthy oils, and dinner for two for under $12. Good fortune and great food await at High V Chinese Express. In these uncertain times, you may find yourself looking for health insurance. That's why you should know about Simply Blue individual and family health plans from Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield of Iowa, an independent licensee of the Blue Cross and Blue Shield Association. With Simply Blue, you'll get choices that meet your needs and fit your unique situation. So if you don't have coverage or need a more affordable plan, visit www.wellmark.com slash simplyblue to find a plan that works for you. Affordable, reliable health coverage. The difference is blue. We've all experienced a great deal of change recently. Your Iowa bankers want you to know one thing. Our commitment to you and to our state never changes. While other lenders may come and go with deals that don't always add up, Iowa banks are focused on providing sensible products to meet your needs. We've been serving Iowans for over a century. Just like you, Iowa is our home. For advice and services you can trust, stop by your Iowa bank. Iowa banks, your future, our focus. And the track meet continues here as Alex Matson gets his first two points at the front end of a break after a missed shot by Ankeny Christian. Five minutes remain in this first half, 27-23. Ankeny Christian Academy with the lead and the basketball. Cameron on the floor along with Snyder and Harmson and Olnizak and Lopez, the original starting five. Baseline move, dish out on the wing. Cameron from 18 lets fly and it's no good. Rebounding foul or is it out of bounds off of uh, the Warriors? It's out of bounds, that's what it is. Eagles throw in, baseline left. They move from right to left as we watch the action here in the second half. Olnizak with the three-point field goal attempt, no good. Rebound to Calamus Wheatland, the Warriors pushing the pace a little bit. Ryan Powers dishes at the baseline, intended for Brian Cruz, but they couldn't make connections, and turnover gives it back to Ankeny Christian. Olnizak fouled right at midcourt. The foul is against Logan Getch. Twenty-seven, twenty-three. Ankeny Christian, the lead in the basketball. They lead by four, trying to go up by six. Low post pass, Snyder. Snyder, little jump hook off glass, and it came up short. And if he'd been able to see him, he had Isaac Lopez just lurking around the left side of the glass with nobody around him, but never could find him against as he was being double teamed. Low it goes. And the layup is no good, and the ball is out of bounds. Last touch by Calamus Wheatland, it belongs to the Eagles. So a dump in in backcourt. Old Zach, once things cleared out, he'll just go one on one, and he's bumped into. Top of the key, Snyder. Calamus Wheatland crowd screaming for a backward violation. Obviously do not understand that both the ball and the player have to be across the 10 second line in front court. And then if the ball goes back without being deflected and is touched up, then it's a backcourt violation. Low post, it goes to Snyder. Boy, Lopez was Standing left of the glass again. As Snyder's trying to back in at the low post. He's fouled. 
Brian Cruz has just picked up his fourth personal foul. He'll have to leave the ball game. Matson checks out, and so does Drew Jacoby. Here's the throw in. In the paint, the deal to the baseline. Back it goes for Snyder. He'll just pop from 12, and it falls off the left side. No good. In a hurry in front court came Ryan Powers. He gave the ball up. Now the ball deflected, and wow. Getch got away with a with a tackle. Shot put up, no good. Rebounding foul is called against the Warriors. This one's on Jake Jensen. 6-5 freshman. Picks up a personal. 2.40 remaining in the third quarter of play. 27-23, Ankeny Christian, and now the Eagles throw one away. Olnazak trying to flip a pass ahead. But he thought Cameron was going to go get. And now whistle stops play, and we get a foul out on the baseline before any shot is taken. Against Andy Harmson on a hand check, it's his first. Warriors throw in at the baseline. It's dumped out on the perimeter. To the free throw line, duck under move, shot up, won't go. But two free throws for Ryan Powers coming up. There he is four for four already in the game. Armson got his second personal. Free throw is good for Ryan Powers. Gives him 13 points. Gets his team back to within three. And a free throw here would make it a two-point game with 227 remaining in this third quarter of play. And it's on the way and good again. We have a two-point ball game. Eagles get the ball inbounds, leading 27-25. Olnazak up the sideline, stops, steals back for Cameron. Cameron to the paint, out on the right baseline, Harmson. Harmson stripped to the ball, loose on the far side, and out of bounds it goes. Last touch by the Eagles, and belongs once again to Calamus Weedland. Now a chance to tie, perhaps take the lead on this possession. Out in the deep left corner, three-pointer, yes, for the lead. For Mitch Christensen and a timeout on the floor with 1.58 to go in the third. Calamus Wheatland 28, Hankety Christian 27, and we're back after this from your local station. Change of buckets. Calamus Wheatland with a 30 to 29 lead. Jacob Bom uh, Bomia got the latest bucket for Calamus Wheatland while Andy Harmson had answered just before that for Ankeny Christian. Outside Harmson with the basketball at the free throw line. Snyder takes it down the right side, put it up, no good. Got his own rebound, put it and go on the second try. Had it, then lost it to the Warriors. And here comes. Brian uh, Ryan Powers outside for the three-pointer that's off the rim, no good. And a rebounding foul on Oldezak. As the Warriors got to the rebound first. The Warriors will substitute. Drew Jacoby coming back into the lineup. Yeah, 
So with a one point lead in possession now, pass inside nearly mishandled, shot up off glass, wouldn't go, and it's out of bounds. Last touch by Calamus Wheedland and belongs to Ankeny Christian Academy. Logan Getch is back into the game, out of the contest. Jake Jansen. Pass inbounds, Cameron. And Jason across the 10 second line. Still on the dribble, far sideline, picks up the bounce. Gives it up and gets it right back. 35 seconds to play in this third quarter. Here's Snyder going inside. They wave off the basket. And the foul called against Logan Getch. Throw in and cutting straight to the basket. Shot wouldn't go. Tipped up and in by Harmson. That's a one point lead for Ankeny Christian. Calamus Wheedland with the basketball. 10 seconds to go in the third quarter of play. Out near midcourt. Ryan Powers on the dribble. Three seconds, two seconds, getting a high screen. Up fake on the three, lets it fly, and it's good! Ryan Powers makes the score after three quarters. Calamus Wheedland 33, Ankeny Christian 31. We'll be back with the fourth quarter. After these messages on the High B Championship Radio Network. Did you know Coca-Cola has a secret formation of supporting education-based interscholastic athletics? Visit IAHSAA.org. This year, many state champions will be crowned, but just four schools will be awarded the Bank Iowa Traveling Challenge Cup. For the second year in a row, Class 2A St. Albert rates number one in academics and state competitions. I think it's just a, a great honor. It's a great, great achievement for our school. I'm very, very proud of, uh, proud of this award. The Bank Iowa Traveling Challenge Cup is a program that recognizes Iowa high school students for academic excellence and outstanding achievement in state competitions. The Bank Iowa Traveling Challenge Cup. Are you up for the challenge? Ankeny Christian with the basketball as we're underway here in the fourth quarter. Harmson put one up off glass. They call an offensive foul on him. Wave off the basket. Harmson with his third personal. Calamus Wheedland gets the ball back. And Logan Getch is coming back into the ball game. Alex Matson on the floor right now. So is Brian Cruz. And uh, Drew Jacoby, and of course, and here's a steal. Lopez gives it right side, three on the way, and that one's off the mark, and another rebound. Or Brian Powers, pass ahead on the break, layup is good. Drew Jacoby gets his first bucket of the ball game. The lead for Calamus Wheatland is four at 35-31. A timeout is called here by Ankeny Christian with 7.01 to play. Calamus Wheatland 35, Ankeny Christian Academy 31, and we're back after these messages on the High V Championship Radio Network. Bino. Whoa, that's good. Play resumes, and it is Des Moines, or rather uh, Ankeny Christian with the basketball. A trail by four. Harmson going baseline, puts the runner up no good. Follow, one time back up and in for Isaac Lopez. His first two points of the game. And big ones there to get his team back to within a bucket. But Calamus Wheatland has it right now. And there's an offensive foul. Moving screen, Brian Cruz. I think he's just fouled out. Yep. Brian Cruz was pretty much just plowing the road waiting for Drew Jacoby who was dribbling in his direction and Cruz was just moving the defense backwards without the basketball. So he fouls out having scored just two points in the game and leaves with six and a half minutes to play, 6.34. 
And here comes Cameron into front court. Jason circling on the right sideline, looks to the low post. A little spin move against a double team. Shot was put up. An ill-advised shot for Jay Snyder. The uh, three-point shot on the right wing is good for Drew Jacoby. The thing that the Eagles have been missing in this game is the guy that's handling the ball right now, Olnazak. Reverse layup, Lopez won't go. Olnazak, who averages 22 points a game, has six. That's it. Another three-point field goal. And a rainbow! It goes in good for Ryan Powers. And Calamus Wheatland leading by eight with 5.40 to play. Ankeny Christian really up against it now. Here's Cameron, a three, and it's woefully short. Just barely got the front edge of the rim. Here comes Powers again, and an offensive foul is called. Cameron got to the spot before Ryan Powers did. And Ryan just ran right over him. That's his third. Inbound toss into front court. To Isaac Lopez hands it back to Cameron. Gives it up to Olnazak. You got to figure that he may have to catch a hot hand, and he throws up a three-pointer that's short. An air ball. Outlet pass ahead into front court on the break. Jacoby. And Jacoby, as he gave it back to Getch, was... And Getch was fouled as he made the catch. Andy Harmson with the personal, and that's his fourth. Yeah. Evidently some blood on the uniform, something on the uniform of uh, Tim Oldenzak, so... Timeout is being called while that's being attended to. Game day here at the Boys State Basketball Championships. Warriors will inbound. As we get back underway. The inbound toss handled by Jake Jansen, that freshman. Big 6'5 freshman. Now pops. Jacoby to take the pass. The Warriors are rubbing off low post screens, just popping outside the three-point line. And they're going to run some clock doing this. Now they go back door, and there's a travel. Catch was made and steps taken before Drew Jacoby got the dribble down, so the turnover gives it back to the Eagles. Now down eight points. 4.40 to play in the ball game. Not panic time, but they need to start shooting a better percentage than what they have been. Only shooting 30% for the game. Snyder backing in, little jump hook, and he threw it up there and missed. Another missed shot. Long pass to front court, three-pointer. Yes! Drew Jacoby buries another one. Eagles with it in front court, but the lead for Calamus Wheatland now at 11 at 44 to 33. And here's a layup missed. Snyder got the rebound, put it back up and in, and a foul on the play. Count the basket. And a foul called against Ryan Powers, and that's his fourth. Jay Snyder shooting one and a chance for the three-point play. And the free throw's no good. It is a nine-point lead for Calabas Wheatland. 44-35. We're under four minutes to play in the game. 3.45 to be exact. Now time will start becoming a factor here very soon. As Calabas Wheatland is running clock. Just rubbing off the low post screens and oh 
Bringing it back out beyond the three-point line. There's a deflection and a stolen uh, a steal. The other end, layup is good for Oldenzak. Him now with eight points. So now 44-37. The Warriors. Getch gets it back into the hands of Christensen. And now a whistle and stops playing. We've got a foul against Ankeny Christian, against Ben Howe. And a throw in on the far side. So the next foul against Ankeny Christian will put Calamus Wheatland to the free throw line for a one and one. Inbound toss, Getch on the far sideline, back into the hands. Uh, nope, traveling at the top of the key is called against the Warriors. So they turn it over, and Ankeny Christian now will have another opportunity to draw just a little bit closer. Outside three-point shot is off the rim, no good. Lopez got it back, back outside to Cameron. Gives it up to Olnazak. Low post, Snyder backing in. And they call an offensive foul on Snyder, backing in on the play. Jay with his third. Player control foul, no free throws with 248 remaining. Calamus Wheatland a 44-37 lead and with possession of the ball. Trying for the upset here, at least according to the seeding. Right side, catch with it. Back outside it goes. With Brian Powers. Then into the paint. And then back outside again. Alex Matson has it. Gives it up. Baseline drive. Layup is blocked. Up to at the uh, pinned against the backboard, but a foul is called against Jay Snyder, who went up for that block, and that's his fourth personal. And now Ryan Power shooting two, bounding the act of shooting. 2.23 to play. First free throw short, no good. His first miss. He's now five of, excuse me, six of seven from the free throw line. 20 points in the game. Second free throw is good. He has 21. And the lead for Calamus Wheatland is eight at 45-37. Ankeny Christian the basketball right side. Harmson pulls up in the lane, shot partially blocked, scramble for the loose ball. Lopez comes up with it, deals it back toward midcourt. It's touched up there. And goes over to the Warriors. On the backcourt violation. Catch takes the inbounds toss. Hands it off. Dish to the left baseline. Back out on the perimeter. Three-pointer. Yes! Guess who drew Jacoby? Now a whistle stops playing a foul called on Jacoby going for a steal. Or was it Jacoby? I'm sorry. It was Alex Matson. Drew Jacoby with 11. 10 of those 11 here in the second half of play. He had a free throw at halftime. He has a regulation field goal and three threes here in the second half. At the line, one and one for Olnazak. And he misses the front end. Not happening today for Ankeny Christian. Baseline shot is up, tipped into the corner. Off the miss, Olnazak pushing the pace to the paint, and he's fouled. And if it's, well, let's see who it's on. Won't even guess here. Alex Matson. 
And we get a timeout called. So with a minute 29 to play, Calabas Wheatland 48, Ankeny Christian Academy 37. And we're back after this from your local station. Drew Jacoby has just been lighting it up here in the second half of play. He was 0 for 6 at halftime from the field. Had that one free throw. In the second half of play, he is 4 of 5 from the field, including 3 of 4 from three-point range. Olnizak makes the first free throw, has another to work with here. Second free throw is also good. Well, Olnizak gets to double figures with 10, but that's 12 below his per-game average. Calamus Wheatland has a nine-point lead in possession of the basketball in front court. And here he goes again, and this time it won't go down. Jacoby, and now a steal by Getch away from Ankeny Christian. And Jacoby is fouled by Olnizak. Drew Jacoby at the line, one of two in the game. And uh, one and one here to work with. One oh eight remaining. First one up. Got it. He gets the bonus shot now. 13 points for Drew Jacoby. Make it 14 as he gets both free throws. 13 of his 14 points in the second half of play. And Ankeny Christian with a lot of work to do now and not a lot of time to work with it. Holden Zach, low it goes. Back out on the right wing, further right in the corner. Three-pointer off the rim, no good. Rebound, Getch and Calamus Wheatland with the basketball. Jacoby looking for someone to throw it to, gets it into the hands of uh, Ryan Powers, and Powers double teamed. Now, before any foul, a timeout is called, so we're going to keep it here. Calamus Wheatland is going to, it looks like, for the world, looks like they're going to upend Ankeny Christian. We won't say. It's absolute, because there's still 41.6 seconds remaining, but Calamus Wheatland will more likely than not be taking on Linville Sully in a Thursday 12-15 ball game in a semifinal. Top half of that bracket, Cedar Falls NU High and Rock Valley will get it started Thursday at 10.30 in the morning. Throw in for the Warriors on the near sideline right in front of us. Basketball in the hands of, for Calamus Wheatland, John uh, Dirks. A 5'10 freshman who was fouled and now goes to the line to shoot two. In fact, J.J. Schwenen, Micah Klon, Dirks. Nolan Christensen and Alex Traver in the game. The substitutes are in. Casey Korn cleared the bench. Second free throw, no good. Rebound Eagles. They still have their starters out there. It's Cameron to Olnazak with 28 seconds to go. Olnazak fires up a long three that's well off the mark short. And a jump ball on the rebound. Possession arrow favoring Calamus Wheatland. With just 22 seconds remaining, and now Ankeny Christian head coach Steve Olnazak is going to start getting some folks off the bench. Jimmy Swift has come into the ball game. So has Justin Trier and Sam Hosher. Hosler, that is. It'll be just their second loss. Ankeny Christian, while for Calamus Wheatland, 21 wins, 5 losses, headed to the semifinals. 
15 seconds to play in the game. And the reserves are playing it out with 10 ticks to go. Just bringing it on the perimeter. With three seconds, with two seconds, with one, and that is the ball game. Your final score, Calamus Wheatland 50, Ankeny Christian Academy 39. And we'll be back after these messages from your local station.